Jesus. Three short drive up the road from Bunu Bunu to Bald Rock. Uh, just head down into the campsite. I don't know if there's any, there won't be anything swimming holes or nothing like that here, I don't think. Um, so, yeah, it'll be pretty hot setting up in the middle of the day. It's uh, 12 o'clock. Um, yeah, might wait for a bit later on and then uh, actually climb Bald Rock. Um, what I've read, it's the uh, most exposed granite rock surface in the southern hemisphere. Uh, last year when we went to Jirawin, we thought um, the pyramids was that, but um, apparently it's this rock. Anyway, it should be good to go up there at the end of the day, watch the sunset if there's good weather, and um, yeah, see what we can find. Check back in later, guys. Yo! Lunchtime before I go for a big walk. Got some leftover steak from last night. With some spiced cheese. Just gonna melt that down and throw it in a wrap. Oh yeah. Just set off on the last uh, hike for this trip up to Bald Rock. I've gone around the back way, I think it's called Bungunga Track or something. Um, it's just winds its way through the bushland, a few big uh, rock boulders and whatnot. But um, yeah, come up the back side of it and then up to the summit. So I'll probably go up there shortly, or oh, in about half an hour. And, um, yeah, spend a bit of time up there, get some good photos, send the drone out, probably just stay there for sunset too, looks like we've got good weather again, and um, yeah, and then uh, the steep climb down on the other side, so it'd be pretty gnarly carrying all this shit, but anyway, pretty hiked out, uh, I'll have a few beers after this one, and um, yeah, next camping trip, I think I'm just going to throw my feet up, get in the beach, and uh, yeah, just relax. Not that this isn't relaxing, this is relaxing, but um, yeah, you certainly go to bed early, and you sleep well. Anyway, check back in soon.
thought it was at the top. Not yet. Oh, I'll check back in when I'm up there.
Yeah, you just got there, no pen. Bastards. the afternoon I think. Should get a cracking sunset over that way later. I'll probably set my camera up over here somewhere. Go have a look around and uh, pop the drone up as well. What a mad place. G'day, g'day. Last day. Before I go home, I just thought I'd uh, lock the hubs in and um, do 14 crossings track, which is actually Condamine uh, River Road. But um, yeah, commonly known the four wheelers as uh, 14 crossings track. Um, did this last year, uh, this time last year actually. Uh, I'm not sure what it's like or if it's changed much with water levels or whatnot. I'm gonna say they're down because there's been bugger all rain. But um, anyway, uh, lock the hubs in. I've uh, aired the tyres down to about oh, 25, and um, probably didn't need to, but anyway, we'll see what happens. And uh, yeah, and that's it then. And then onwards home, and uh, back to work Monday. Yay! And um, yeah, it's been good to get away. First solo trip. Um, it's been pretty epic. Yesterday was epic. That up of that bald rock is absolutely unbelievable. So, uh, yep. Yeah. Anyway, let's get on with it.
Well guys, that was a bit disappointing actually. It's a beautiful drive in there, but uh, water levels are so down compared to what they were last year. So it uh, didn't really get too wet or too deep. Um, the roads are really good though. It's obviously been graded recently because it's just flat as, so. But anyway, head up the tyres, heading home now. Uh, that's the end of my uh, first solo trip. Hope you enjoy. Cheers.